Hello there. I hope you all had a chance to, to look at that wonderful read aloud of the book, The Art in the Night. I really love this book because the artist has used white lines and a pop of yellow to really create emphasis in her work. So you're gonna make your own house in the night. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So to create your own picture of you and your house in the night, you're gonna need the following things. A piece of black construction paper, a smaller piece of yellow paper, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and the white pencil from your pencil set. And if you happen to have a hole punch, that's handy as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with a picture of myself. And I'm just going to put together simple shapes, pressing down hard with my white pencil so that it will really show up. In fact, I'm gonna use this white pencil because it comes out even brighter. So I'm gonna start with an oval or circular shape, okay? Now I need to add my eyes right there, a nose, and a nice smile. I think I might color in my eyes and then later I'm gonna put a black dot with marker for my pupil. Here's my hair, here's my neck, a rectangle for the body works very well. I'm gonna put another rectangle for my arm. I'm reaching out and I'm gonna make my hand a simple mitten hand. This hand is reaching out here, another rectangle, a mitten hand, and this time I think I'm gonna be holding a flashlight. So I can make pants or a skirt. Oh, I think I'm gonna wear a skirt today. And you notice I made myself so close that I can't fit in my feet, and that's fine. They're going right off the page. Maybe I'll add some buttons and some ears, and now I'm gonna add more hair. So next I'm ready for my house, but first I need a hill for my house to sit on. So I'm gonna do a line, hop over, there's my hill, and here's my house. I'm putting together simple shapes, I need a doorway to go in. I need a roof. Maybe I'll make a triangle. It's getting cold out, so I'm going to add a chimney. And I need a roof right here so the rain doesn't come in. And I'm even going to add a little addition on my house. So I want to show everyone it's at night. So in a minute, I am going to put some lights on in that house. In fact, I'm going to put a few things here. And then I think I'll add my yellow lights. So you have this yellow piece of paper and you can cut just a small strip like this and measure and cut your windows. I want a white one, a big window there, maybe another one there. That's looking a little fat. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. That will fit there. Maybe I'll do another skinny one right here. And I think it might be fun to put one up there in the attic. In fact, I'm gonna make it a round window. I'm gonna cut the edges off and make it rounded. That will work just fine. You notice how I lay it out first to make sure I like it? And then I glue it down. Because this is a bright yellow against that black background, I have lots of contrast and it really draws my attention to the house. It makes it look like the lights are shining out through the dark night. So there, put those on. One more. And I need something else to make this picture interesting. I need a moon. And I make that simply by taking my piece of paper, cutting, turning with my other hand, and I have a pretty round moon. It does not have to be perfect. And I put some glue on the back, and I have to decide, do I want my moon here, or here, or here? I think it would look nice right there. And if you have a hole punch, you could punch out some little dots for stars. The tricky thing about those is it's hard to glue them on. I am very lucky. 
in that I have a pole punch that punches out stars. How about that? But even though I have that, I actually love the little yellow dots. If I don't have a hole punch, I could simply cut out some circles for the, the stars, or I could get a yellow pencil or a white pencil and draw some stars. In fact, I'm gonna make my sky more interesting by going back with my white pencil and adding more stars. And I'm going to add some glowing lines that are rounding my moon because I want my picture to glow. I'm going to add some swirls in the sky, some light radiating out from my stars. I might even draw a little firefly in the night if I want to. So I'm going to go back, have fun, add some detail, lines around my windows maybe, some things in the grass, Maybe a bat happens to be flying by in the night or a bird. What are you going to see when you go out for your night walk? Have fun. Do a nice job. When you're all done, don't forget to put the dots in your eyes so we can see you looking at us. Then don't forget to go to Add Response and take a picture of your work to send to me. I can't wait to see it.